Most men in America regard that women have rights. We have been hit over the head with it since our birth. That women are special and unique creatures. They are something to be protecting and openly that they have rights to their body. But there are people in America, even politicians across the land, who want to tell a woman what she can and cannot do with her human body and with her reproductive organs. And yet there are men in America who also want to tell men what they can and can't do with their human body and they want to play in. The immoralness of men is that they want to impregnate women and sometimes they want to impregnate men. The lie of America is thinking that God Most High doesn't know what he makes is an absolute travesty and tragedy because people are targeted for the differences which are nobody's business and the truth is that sexualizing the human body proves that you are not in God's house. At no time do you ever have the right to see a person's body without the lawful consent and permission of the person who owns it. The liars of America will create ill-willed records by just driving by and being in a bastard of Satan thinking they have the rights to lie. The liars of America do work in every industry and the ways that hurt America are in the medicine ministry and in the force of the land. The force of the land think they have the blue line that allows them to walk between both um, the righteousness of God and the illness of Satan. They don't exactly describe it like that, but that is how a man of faith and a man who is pagan feels about it, thinks about it, and observes it. Because only people that arrogant feel that they have the right to take a person's clothes off without their consent and abuse the body of someone else, to prove some point that is immorally gotten and illegally obtained. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth about what ill-willed people do. And ill-willed people are destroying America with the ill-will that they do. Free will is not the same as ill-will. Free will says I have the right to choose my path towards the Lord's house. I have the right to choose what I'm going to do. Ill-will says I'm going to be in power over you. I'm going to control you. I'm going to micromanage you. I'm going to harm you and you will have no right to say no. The right to say yes is something that women are always allowed. The right to say no is something that women are always allowed. But when a man says no, apparently nobody gives him the right to be allowed.